So this is the Radar Yu Yang uh, gunboat. I enjoy this because it's very powerful in that role. Uh, because it has that role, it, you pretty much need to go to the closest objective and contest it right off the bat. So in this example, we're going to D-Point. Uh, the enemy team has a Gearing, a Marceau, a Shima, and a Hayeti. So only the Marceau can benefit from the lack of smoke. The smoke can be used against these players. Uh, this ship is getting buffed in 10.10. It's getting 10 seconds off of its torpedo reload, which is nice. Um, you know, it's deep water torpedoes. They're only good against cruisers and battleships and uh, aircraft carriers. So you can't use it in knife fighting against DDs or submarines. Not that you would use a torpedo against a sub, I guess. Um, all right. So, Eduardo. What are we doing here? Oh, ooh, the Marceau. The Marceau. Ed oh, Eduardo, the captain. Captain El Eduardo. Okay, we're going to get him to fire his guns. And then we're going to drop off detection. And we're going to move away from him. And after he does his one shot, I will deactivate that. I will let him retreat. Uh, and we're going to try and attempt to capture the base. This is something that I like to do where... You basically bait the opponent to have a weakened position, and then you go in during his weakened position, and you take something from him. Whether it be spotting, or uh, capturing the base, or assassinating. In this, we're obviously just spotting. So I'm just going to wait here with my tail facing his, his front. And we're going to hopefully not have to deal with him at all. If we can get the three base to one, all we have to do is sit and uh, spot. These GK just need to be careful. One's taking way too much damage. They're on the same team, so I'm sure they're concerned. Alright, so yeah, he's still there. He knows he doesn't want to be too close. And I know that I don't want to fire my gun unless I have to. So he's retreating. I think he's just going to come this way. I just have that feeling. Alright, so we're going to send our torpedo. Alright, cool. Now we don't need to do anything. We are the assassin. We go and look for easy targets to kill. I think that there is actually an enemy DD that is in this area. So I am going to attempt to maybe bait him closer to the druid. He might be on the other side too, he might be there. But he's, I don't think he's the Marceau because the Marceau went back the other way. All right, well we were the ones spotting the Marceau. The Des Moines is getting rocked. Just get a free shot. It's not really a big deal. Oh, hello there, gearing. Hmm. And then we've got the advantage, and he doesn't. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, those were chonky, chonky damage there. Hmm. Our GK friend didn't take any torpedoes, so that would lead me to assume that he maybe had hydro running, because he kind of stopped short. There's the Marceau. Marceau seems to be on the other side of that. Yeah, it definitely plays like a Ragnar with torpedoes, yeah. That's a good description. 
Like, you know, the torpedoes are kind of a bonus. Doesn't really matter that much. Let me see if I can grab some. Some vision. All right, we're gonna speed through this. Druid needs to be careful. Torpedoes astern. Oh. He is very dead. Yeah, very dead. Do we already lose the battleship over there? No, he... Okay, yeah, they're both there. Oh, yeah, he, he's gonna go down. Hey, Ty, uh, take on. Who is that? What is that? This guy has to die. I'm not... And there's no reason for me to, like, show myself... Yeah, 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 yeah. No reason. Well, yeah, it's definitely not as versatile, but it also has a stronger equipment with uh, radar. You know, radar literally gives you kills. Uh, hydro also, but you have to kind of combo it with smoke. Mm. We're waiting for the Marceau to approach. It looks like the Marceau is on approach. Looks like he might have. He's keying off of that Montana, it looks like. Yep, 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 yep. There he is. There's no reason to, like, risk the ship right now. Just need to make people, you know, feel like... It would be funny if, uh, you know, that we could make the torpedoes jump out of the water because he is going to crack right close to them. Something's shooting at him. That's good. Good. Oh, Kleber, nice kill. Can we get another fire on his superstructure? Because he's clearly not running. Fire prevention. Works pretty good. I, I, I haven't had any complaints with it. Yeah, double fire, good. This guy has basically been up against this island the whole game. Nice. It's nice, nice. nice. Alright, the Marceau is still in that area. We have these guys. are doing good. Doing good. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder if the Marceau is over here in front of these guys. Yeah, a Golden Lion would be pretty outstanding for that situation. Uh, Des Moines is dealing with the GK. Uh, how healthy is the GK? Oh, he's like 60% life. Montana's definitely gonna die. GK. Ooh, the Des Moines got the DD. Awesome. That's great. I'm trying to help the Des Moines with this damage per minute problem that he's going to run himself into. And we got two torque pits. It's good. with the torpedoes. The torpedoes don't lie. Force. Most likely he's going to turn up field and into my area. So we're going to turn away. We'll wait for our torpedoes to reload. Yeah, I can I can share my build. I think I got him. Okay. If I was a GK, I would turn close to this. Yes, that's exactly what I would have done. Hmm. Feels like the Marceau is like shadowing me a little bit. Alright, we're gonna go take A. The the gunboat just noticed hey oh. The gunboat for the Yue Yang is actually legit like if you can locate on that superstructure, you can do so much damage so quickly. All right, good. They disrupted C. That's good. Hmm. Battle ends in five minutes. I def. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Nice, 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 nice. I definitely think that that Marcel has some hard on for me because there's no reason for him to be where he is, but he is where he is. He's probably like here. I don't know how you get over there and get into that position, but that's that's what I'm seeing. 
Alright, so yeah, he went over there. The GK can just sail towards C point. We can capture this while C gets contested. Roger. All he has to do is sail into C and stop him. There's nothing he can do if he just sails into C and stops him. There you go. Good. Perfect. Now we're going to get A point, even though he wanted to get uh, C point. Uh, and then once we get A, we're going to around this and uh, hopefully. Oh, that's the wrong thing, but hey, that's okay. Eduardo, the captain. GG. GG. That was a really well crafted Yui Yang game. Uh, that's why I enjoy the Yui Yang, because it's not it's not your typical DD. Cool. Cool. Yes! Yeah, that's what I like to see. Number one. Well played, GKs. These guys play well. I'll give them a compliment. Plays well. Plays well. All right, cool. Well, the legendary upgrade really unlocks a lot of potential in the Yui Yang's radar build. Yeah. Uh, because of the way it works, uh, obviously, I don't know that everyone knows how this works. So it's a slot five. It has well, if you play against a CV or a submarine for that matter you just the sub is just like a dd you just just chill out relax but in a cv matchup you do have weak aa but you also can rely on others and you can angle because it is very maneuverable so pretty much the only people that can really mess with you is maybe the casual spotting but you would need to just consider your position for that but anyway this increases the duration of radar so that the radar itself for like a super long time yeah 36 seconds so that means that your teammates have 30 seconds of potential fire time to a target that is inside of 7.5 of you it's really legit for this build it works very well uh and it you notice that the recommendation is for torpedoes don't go torpedoes uh, torpedoes are a path to failure on the pan asian it's it's about using your guns and manipulating the map with radar. That's really where they shine. Uh, it's nice that they're getting a torpedo buff, of course, but it's not your bread and butter. Okay. And you guys, you saw how quickly we were able to like rack up damage on targets that weren't really interested in moving. So yeah, it's a hard ship to hit. It's very low in the water. I enjoy it. It's it's good. <laughs> 